to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video is one that I haven't filmed in years. And I mean years. I think back when I first started YouTube, maybe the first couple of years or so, was the last time I filmed one of these videos. So as you can tell by the title, it is a collective haul. I have been scrambling around this past week to try to find clothes that are appropriate for work. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're new to my channel, I am a teacher, I teach special ed, and we have been teaching virtually for over a year now, which has made me really lazy and ordered nothing but loungewear. So my goal was to kind of get my teacher wardrobe back. I did, during COVID, gain a good amount of weight, so I feel like a lot of my clothes that used to fit me no longer fit me. So I just wanted to make sure I had some cute, comfortable pieces that didn't break the bank. We actually did end up getting called back to work on Thursday. Today is Sunday, so um, we were on campus for two days, and then of course, you know, the weekend hit. So I was actually able to wear a couple of these tops to work, and I can say they were super comfortable and really cute. I ended up going to Target, Ross, and Walmart to find these items. Um, not everything is necessarily teacher related. There's a couple dresses that I tried on that were a little bit too low cut for me, so I haven't decided if I'm going to return them or just wear them throughout the summer, but either way, I still think they're super cute. I also did get some active wear pieces and then a couple accessories as well. Please remember that I keep my weight and all of my measurements down in the description box below, as well as all the stuff I talk about, if I can find on the website, I will link it. I know some of the stuff from probably like Ross, I won't be able to find. And Walmart is super hit or miss as well. Um, but Target, I should be able to find these items and link them down below for you guys. Also, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will be posting some outfit pictures. I plan on doing like teacher outfit pictures and I plan on doing a teacher outfit like video. So if you guys are interested in that, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that video. I think I've blabbered enough. Without further ado, let's get on into this video. Okay, let's start with Walmart. The first thing I got was one, two, three, four tops. They're the exact same tops. They're just in different colors because I loved them that much. So the first color I got is this like really pretty like deeper purple color and it almost looks it's not like acid wash but it's like it's like that wash that looks almost like a teeny teeny bit faded i don't know how to explain it but these tops were 11.98 each and it is like peplum style it's super stretchy lightweight flowy but not see-through which is great i picked mine up all four of them in an xl which is like a 16 18 and i thought they fit perfectly they're just so freaking cute and so easy to throw on with some pants and like some cute jewelry and out the door you go. So first one I got was in this purple color. Then I got the same one in light pink. I got this like army green type of a color. This one is probably my favorite. I just am a sucker for anything this color green. So I picked this one up. And then I also got it in this really pretty like, it's almost like a periwinkle like light blue type of a color absolutely love this one as well also i wanted to mention in case i can't find these on the walmart website it is the time and true brand i just wanted to get a good zoom in here of the tag just in case i can't find it on the website you guys can take this um maybe screenshot this and take it to your walmart to see if they have it in stock okay also from walmart i picked up a dress and this is also from the time and true brand also a size xl um, this material is not stretchy at all but I still think that it fit like perfectly. It's this really pretty navy blue floral dress. And I would say it's kind of a midi dress. It kind of goes like mid shin. I love the sleeves on this one because they're a little bit longer and then they have like elastic here, um, which hits like right above the elbow. Loved that. I think the only thing with this dress that I'm not a fan of, at least for work's sake, works sake, is that it kind of went down really low and I would feel uncomfortable wearing this like around my students, I don't know. So I could wear like a cami or like a bandeau so you just see maybe like a pop of white or even if I found like a navy blue, but I don't know if I wanna go through the trouble of doing that. So this is definitely one where I'm deciding if I wanna keep it and just wear it throughout the summer, like not at work, or if I want to return it. So I'm not too sure yet, but either way, I still think it is super cute. It does have, um, 
this faux like wrap so you can tie it over here but if it comes untied it's not going to open up so um, yeah I think it's really cute I have officially found my new favorite sports bra and it is from Walmart it is the brand I do not know how to pronounce this it's a v i a avia avia don't know but it's that Walmart brand I see this brand everywhere in Walmart and I am obsessed. I got this hot pink one. They're really stretchy, but also supportive, which is nice. These straps are thick, but adjustable. And they do have padding on the inside that is removable, so you can take it out if you don't want. I did put this through the washer um, once so far, because I just got this the other day, and one of the pads ended up coming out in the washer. But it is super, super easy just to pop it right back in. It has this pretty good size hole here. Um, I picked mine up in a 2X, and I thought it fit absolutely perfectly. I will add that I have worked out in this also, not just like worn it around the house. And not only is it cute, but it is so comfortable when you work out and it holds my girls in, which is always nice. I will say I don't have like the largest chest in the world. I have a D, sometimes it could be considered double D. So if you have a larger chest than that, I'm not sure, I guess if this would work out for you during working out. Um, I honestly wasn't sure when I bought it either if it would even work for me but I figured worst case scenario, it is super cute and I can just wear it around the house. It's like my favorite thing to wear around the house are sweatpants and just a sports bra. So that is why I got it, but it ended up working out for both lounging and actually working out. So I ended up liking it so much. I went back today actually and got another one in this black like army print, same exact brand, same size, a 2X. This one, um, for some reason, I feel like it feels like a teeny bit less like soft than that pink one. I don't know what it is. Also, they had this um, in the pink one. They had, it's the same exact color, same brand, same material, but it didn't have this type of a strap. This is the strap. It's like almost like, um, it's like a sep two separate pieces. The strap is separate from this, and then they have this little clasp. They had another one where this into the strap is all one piece. That's not the one I got. So if you guys are looking for this exact one, keep that in mind. Um, but I did get this army one as well. Just tried it on obviously for the try on portion and absolutely love it and I feel like it'll work out. For some reason it just feels a smidge different than that pink one. And I will say I like the pink one better. So this is the next item I got. Then I had to get one more sports bra because I felt this and I just could not resist. This is definitely a thinner material, so soft and silky. Um, one that I would not wear working out because of how stretchy it is, but it does have um, pads in there that are removable. The back is so pretty with the lace and I love the tie dye. Um, how pretty would this be in a black tie dye? They didn't have that, so I got purple, but so comfortable. This is going to be for sure a wear around the house type of a sports bra. I actually did not realize, but this is the No Boundaries brand and I accidentally got a 3X, but I did try it on and it fits perfectly. And like I said, super stretchy, absolutely love this. So that was everything that I got from Walmart. Let's move on to the stuff that I got from Ross. Now Ross is definitely a hit or miss with me, more often than not a total miss, but I did find some really cute stuff, so let me go ahead and grab them. So the first item I got is a top, and it's this really pretty like mustard yellow top. Once again with the peplum, this one has buttons, or like fake buttons, just for looks, going up the front. Super flowy, this is actually like double layered, so it has the like opaque non see-through layer, and then this layer here is like a see-through mesh, very, very stretchy. Um, I got this in a 1X, and it is the brand Siren Lily. This top is so pretty and is going to be absolutely perfect for work, and it was only $12.99, so you cannot beat that. So this was the first item I got from Ross. The next item I got is, I wouldn't call this a peplum top, but it's kind of like that that paneled, like layered look. I don't know what that is called. And I usually stay away from tops like this because I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't like suit my body well, but 
I loved this like powder blue color and I thought it would be super cute and flowy just something so easy to throw on to go to work with like a necklace so I got it and I actually wore this one Friday with some skinny jeans and my new Doc Martin sandals and I thought it looked really cute this is the brand Fred David and I got mine in a 2x I also picked up a dress from Ross and I got this more so for um, a beach wedding that we're going to. I just want to have some dress options. Um, I got this like deep green Hawaiian print dress. Very, very stretchy. Such a soft material. It was only $9.99. Are you kidding me? And it is the brand Derek Hart. Very cute. What size did I get? I got a 3X. And it is kind of like a faux wrap dress, so it like ties over here. This was another one that was a little low cut for me to wear to work, but I could definitely see myself wearing this throughout the summer or like I said to like the beach wedding that we are going to. So uh, very, very cute. Love it, love it. The last thing that I got from Ross was a headband and it is a black like puffy braided headband. It was only $4.99 and it's the brand Natasha. I'm actually going to try this on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. For me with headbands, I feel like I can wear them for about five or 10 minutes before they start pushing so hard on my temples that it gives me a headache. So I don't know if it's just that I have a really big head. It's definitely that. I definitely have a really big head or what. But this one is like kind of like loosey goosey almost and I'm here for it. I'm really living for it. So this is what it looks like. Um, really cute. I definitely would like throw some volume here in the roots so I don't look like I have my hair plastered to my head, but I think it is really cute. All right, you guys, the last place that I went to was Target and I didn't find any clothes at Target. I found a couple things that I liked. They only had like an extra small and let me tell you, I'm far from that size. So I decided to get two pairs of shoes and a couple accessories as well. So let's start with the accessories. I wanna have a smaller makeup bag where I can take a couple products like to work or keep in my teacher bag. So I got this little mesh bag. It was in the dollar spot. It was $3 and it's just this light gray mesh makeup bag. I also think this would be good for travel if you just wanna bring just a few products. Um, I think it's still big enough where I can fit like a whole face of makeup in here, but also not so big that it's taking up like my entire bag or my entire suitcase if I'm traveling with it. Um, once again, dollar spot and it just says mesh pouch, durable nylon, great for organizing all of your personal items. So it doesn't even have to be a makeup bag apparently, but I just loved it and it was only $3. Then I got another headband. This one is so pretty. It's this leopard with like a knot at the top. Got this, um, I believe, a few weeks ago, and I think it was $9.99 if I remember right. So once again, I would probably throw some more volume in my roots, but I just think it's so cute. I just feel like this would go so well with like an all black outfit and then just like a pop of leopard. I really love this a lot and I cannot wait to wear it to work. This one also doesn't feel like it's going to hurt my head. It's not too tight on my big old cabeza. So I'm really excited about that. These next two items are shoes. They're actually the last two items. And I just got them like right before I started filming this video. So I got them today. Um, the first one is this pair of black sandals. They're just no heel, black, flat sandals. I got mine in a size 10 and they were only $14.99, but they were 20% off. So now is the time to go get shoes because all women's shoes are 20% off at Target. Um, these stretch a little bit because the inside here has a little bit of elastic down here. Um, so they stretch a little bit. I have really wide feet, really wide feet. And these are really comfortable and kind of hold my wide feet in so they don't look like platypus feet. So I kind of like that. And I figured that um, just having some plain black flat sandals would not only be good for work, but I could pair these with really any dress that I wear to that beach wedding. I don't wanna wear heels, obviously, if the wedding is gonna be on the beach, so I figured this would be a really good option. Those black sandals were Universal Thread brand, by the way. Um, next and last item for this haul is also from Universal Thread, and they are a pair of the cutest leopard sandals 
ever. So this is what they look like. They still obviously have the tag and stuff on them, but this is what they look like. They're so adorable. I just cannot. They kind of have a little bit of a platform to them, which I love. I am such a sucker for platform sandals or just really platform shoes in general. So absolutely loved. And I'm trying to stay away from any type of like platform shoe or wedge that has that like cork material or even that like burlapy, not burlap, like that twine. I don't know what it's even called. I'm trying to stay away from buying any more of those because I do have some with that like twine material on the bottom and it just gets so frayed and looks funky after a while. So obviously I'll continue wearing them, but I'm trying to stay away from buying any more of them. So this is the second pair. Definitely would wear these to work or just on a casual summer day. So these are, um, I already said Universal Thread brand, and they were $29.99, but 20% off. So that was pretty much it for this little random collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like hauls like these instead of like a one brand haul, let me know down below. I'm totally just like having deja vu of like five years ago when I used to film these. So definitely let me know down below. Please don't forget to check the description box if you guys have any questions at all. And if I didn't answer it in the description box, definitely leave me a comment and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.